Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is May 26, 2023. I'm going to take a, a quick look at the dollar versus yen, so let's get started. Of course, we have better data coming out of the uh, U.S. Uh, with the uh, durable goods orders uh, better than expectations. Uh, we also saw core PC rise higher than expectations of 4.7% versus 4.6%. That has the dollar moving back to the upside after a dip early uh, today in the dollar versus yen. The uh, dip uh, to the downside took the price back to and through briefly the 50% retracement at 139.574. You can see that on this uh, daily chart here, uh, but the price has since moved back to the upside and testing uh, what was um, a swing low going back to this day right here. Here, it's just one single point actually along the along the past here. That, uh, but it was a, a low here that uh, forced the market to the upside and sending the price to the high price that we saw in 2002. That's going all the way back to 2002. So it became a target because it just sticks out. That level comes in at 149. Let's call it 30. I think the high price reached 140. Uh, 3 1 in trading here today. So getting above that level would uh, open the door for, you know, these highs through here. There's really nothing, nothing in the way from a technical perspective on the daily chart, at least, uh, for further upside potential. Uh, we also have the 61.8% retracement, 142.49, so that would be the next key target. Target Now, uh, you know, of course, the risk would be the 50% retracement level and perhaps this level at uh, 139.39 uh, as well, which was, again, another uh, swing level going all the way back to this day before the market moved to the downside. So watching a 139.57 level on the downside we stay above the 50 percent retracement the seesaw uh, is tilted more to the that side to the upside so uh we'll see how uh, that all plays out but the uh, sellers have their opportunity to go below the 50 percent retracement the data put a stop to that let's take a look at the hourly chart see what that looks like and uh if we uh, look at this uh, pair just uh, this week what is interesting is on uh this day right here that would be wednesday the low prices right through here stalled against the 100 hour moving average we were going sideways through here with a ceiling ceiling area being developed right through here 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 uh here uh and so uh there was a uh, pressure to stay below below and uh perhaps uh, get below the 100 hour moving average but it couldn't do it now i had two different times this week where the price had their opportunity to get below that level and they failed so the uh, bias moved back to the upside, upside, and in uh, trading here today we are uh, after the dip down down below the 57.4 level. Here's that dip, uh, the price right before the data uh, did uh, retest that level, only to move back to the upside. So we know the 50% retracement is a key level, and that's what we're going to be focused on here to here today. But overall, for the bias uh, for this week and for this move to the upside, still remains to the ups remains going to the uh, from left to right, higher. So uh, that's my look at the uh, dollar versus yen. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.